a V2 version of Alfred so he could do a better job filming. Ooh, and you my cameraman that. seems extremely unhappy that I, I picked on the V2. These are the second gen of the core series of solid state drives from o You're right at the mainstream is where most people are going to want as far as solid state drives go. They're very fast, they're really they're quickly, very reliable. They're USB very... 2.0 port right there. See it? See it right there? You are good to go very, very fast. Uh, besides that, you have the regular SATA with your solid state drive. Now, the Core V2 series comes in a couple different capacities. Large, a 30, a 60. It's very, very cool if you have a netbook or a notebook and you only have. I like those for desktops. You can get a couple of them rather than spending a ton on 1250. And you put them in RAID 0 and you get a lot of performance. You get a huge jump uh, by running of, uh, these. Each one writing as fast as it goes. You send information to all very fast. Now, Let's talk about uh, what's up with these. These are MLC, so multi, also Samsung. Um, let's talk about some of the benches I got on here. I'm gonna pull out my box claimed speeds uh, from OCZ. 170 megabytes per second Extremely read and fast. 90. Those are incredible, that's like three Velociraptors in raised average. That's about the same thing I get now. Here's what I got. Uh, this is an ICS 10R Southbridge max and average. Uh, 106, 145 average for read. And for write, I got 9.6 minimum. Very. Uh, 90.4 maximum and 52 was the average. So one could I get to 170.98? I ended up not getting there, but I got very, very for Vista uh, to take better advantage of these solid state drives to set them up so that if indeed 160 megabytes per second read speeds and for it, hey, they're giving you an extra year warranties on these. They have two years of warranty, 1.5 million hours. Great for notebooks, great for desktops. If you have any questions on email me.